Hello, welcome to Collaboration Coach, it's Matt. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at the new Microsoft Teams app called Who. Now, if you're new to apps, I've already created a video that talks you through how to get to the App Store and install them. So hit the link in the top right corner now if you wanna have a quick overview of apps in Microsoft Teams. Also, before we get started, just wanna remind you that I'm posting every week at the moment. So if you don't wanna miss anything, then hit subscribe. Okay, so I'm here in the Microsoft Teams app and if I go to the ellipsis over here, I can see my Who app. I just click on to start that. Now the first thing you're gonna see when you use the app for the first time is this little introduction. It says, hi, I'm Who, and uh, shows you some of the things you can do with it. And also prompts you to allow. Now the allow button is important because it allows the app to search through your information and other people's information on your behalf to get your answers. So once you've clicked allow, it just signs you in and it's all set up and ready to go. So you'll notice that I've got some tabs along the top of the Who app here. First of all, the conversation. So this conversation is the bot. That's where I ask questions about my organization. Then you've also got a couple of other tabs, which we'll look at in a minute, called Your Org and Upcoming Meetings. And they're kind of rich content aspects to this app. But first of all, I'm going to quickly show you the conversation part. So talking to the bot and what the bot can help you with. So um, if you come to the little field here to type into, it prompts you to say, what can I do? And I can click on that and it gives me examples of types of questions I can ask this bot. So like who is somebody in particular? Who knows about something? Who works with somebody? So let's try this one. Who knows about? So if I type who knows about and then a keyword of SharePoint. So who knows about SharePoint? It's prompted me to allow again. Let's allow again. I've noticed this does happen when you're first starting out, it prompts you a couple of times. Okay, so now it's gone away. It said it's found one person who knows about SharePoint in my organization, and it's this guy here called Lee. Now, if I click on Lee, it's going to take me to his information, and I can see what he does. I can see his manager if I click on the manager button and it actually asks the question, who is the manager? And it says, I found the manager of Lee Gu and it's Patty and it gives me her card. So if I just scroll back up to Lee again, you can see I've got works with and peers, which are other who questions. But I've also got these options here. I can chat, so I can start up a chat with Lee. I can send him an email and I can look at the organization hierarchy. And if I click on this, it's gonna take me to the organization page and I can see where Lee fits in. So he reports to Patty and these are all his reports below. And each of these cards can pop out and give me the opportunity to chat, to email, and to start a call or a video call. So I can use the back button in the top left here to go back to where I was. And let's try another type of question. So if I see who works with Lee, going to come back and say I found multiple matches for Lee pick one so it's found all the people that have the words Lee in their name so if I click Lee it's now showing me all the people who actually work with Lee so these are people in the organization structure that have a connection with Lee let's try another one so if I say who have I emailed about something so this is really cool when you remember you talked to someone about something but you can't remember who it was so you can do keywords like product launch. So who have I emailed about product launch? Now it's brought up a chat called Alex. So it said we emailed each other about product launch recently. And you can see Alex's card there. Now another thing you can do here is pin this query. So pinning the query, if I click on that, it's actually created me a new tab at the top here of people I emailed. And it says here, people you emailed about product launch and shows you Alex's card. So it's stuck there, it's permanently there now. So you don't have to do the query again. You can also ask questions like, who have I messaged about? Let's try that, launch. And you can see this time it's two people. So I've had two message sessions with Patty and Alex about product launch. And again, I can pin the query if I want to. Okay, so finally want to show you 
the tabs at the top here. So you remember we had your org and upcoming meetings. If I click on your org, it's going to show me the hierarchy of my organization and where I fit into it. So I'm actually logged in as Megan here. She's the marketing manager. And these are all her peers and her leadership. And each of these cards you can pop out and you can get in touch with any of them. We've also got something called upcoming meetings here which show you the meetings you're in in the next seven days and who's in them, which is really handy if you want to contact someone before a meeting. All right, so in this video, we looked at the new Who app for Microsoft Teams. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.